Hi. So it is a chilly, chilly day here in Florida. It was 39 degrees when I woke up this morning and it's staying pretty chilly up through the rest of the day. So I thought that a nice warm soup for dinner would be perfect. And I've chosen to make um, cheeseburger soup today. This is a recipe actually that my 10 year old son wanted to learn how to make. It was his idea a couple of weeks ago and I searched around and found this recipe on Pinterest. It is a slow cooker cheeseburger soup. I will link down below um, where I actually found the recipe, what blog. Um, but I, I always kind of tweak and change any recipe that I use. So this, what you're seeing today is not the recipe that I found. This is my adaptations. Every time I cook something, it's just a little bit different. So it's going to cook all day in the slow cooker for four to five hours. And I'm going to show you the ingredients and we're going to get it going. And then I'll come back later and show you how to finish it off. This is three, no, four small potatoes, peeled and diced. This is, let me see, three stalks of celery, diced. This is one small onion. I used a red onion. The recipe calls for yellow or white, but I didn't have any one of those, so I just went with what I had. These are, I don't know, maybe a cup or so of baby carrots. Um, the recipe called for shredded carrots. And I don't really want to shred them. I when I made it the first time, I didn't put any carrots at all in. So I think this time the carrots are going to be a yummy addition. For spices right now, I'm putting in one teaspoon of crushed red chili flakes, one teaspoon of basil and one teaspoon of parsley. Okay, so we are just going to put all of these ingredients into the crock pot. Carrots, celery, onions, potatoes, spices. I'm going to come back later after it's cooked for a while and re-season it with some salt and pepper and things like that. But I like to let it cook for a while before I do that. That way I can kind of figure out how much I need to put in. The only other thing that I forgot to tell you earlier was the chicken broth. I use a whole box of this chicken broth. crock pot I choose what size
pot I have in there. I have the six quart, six quart pot, and I'm just gonna cover it, and I'll be back in four to six hours. Okay, so I have my vegetables all cooked down. I've already got my ground turkey. I'm going to add that in. I have my roux. of milk I give this a good stir and then let me see we need some pepper just put in pepper to taste. We like a lot of pepper. That's why I'm kind of going and going and going. Pink Himalayan sea salt. Give that a stir, and now for the fun part. It's time to cheese it up. This is three cups of shredded Mexican cheese, Mexican style cheese. So just all of that into the pot. this needs to cook for about another 10 or 15 minutes just to get all of the cheese melted. You can see it's already starting to melt. The roux will thicken it up even a little bit more. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to come back. This is going to be the final video. But I will post some photos of what it looks like when it is all done. It will be delicious and I will show you. So thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it.